Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. I'm getting ready to go on vacation. I'm going on a cruise and I wanted to take a project with me that I could work on when we have some downtime or just sit and look at the ocean. So I've already got a tutorial. Go check that out on how I made this little bag, but I want to show you what I'm taking with me. So my little bag has a journal in it. I have not bound it yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to bind it and then take it or leave it unbound so I can work on it as it's unbound. My little bag here has kind of a pocket in the bottom. I should have probably sewn it uh, down, but I think it's gonna work for what I want it to do. Then inside my little bag here, I'll just kind of show you what I have here. I've got a pair of scissors. I've got some Zig two-way glue. I like this for on the go, kind of gluing things together. It also allows me, if I want to, let a little bit of it dry, air dry, without attaching it. And then it's kind of like a sticky note. And then I have some Derwent Ink Tense pencils. These are watercolor pencils. I've got a Sharpie pen. I've got my watercolor brush. I also have a few of my sketching pencils in here as well as a mechanical pencil and I've got an old gift card that I was going to use kind of like a bone folder to be able to flatten out things. So that's a variety of little things that are in here. I'm taking with me a dictionary that I want to tear apart. I picked it because of its size and the age looking uh, color of the paper. And it's relatively thick, so I thought I would have quite a bit that I could work with. And then I put together a little tote of goodies that I thought would come in handy. So I picked a few of my rubber stamps. Some of these are from Beeline Designs and some of them are mine. And I took about a five by seven piece of cardboard and laminated it with my heat laminator. The cling sticks to that lamination. So I then picked out a few of my stamps like the sketched wildflowers. This is one of the set of four from the Blooming Cube my dragonfly postage stamp, butterfly postage stamp, bee postage stamp, a couple of other stamps, butterfly, dragonfly. This is from the Curly Swirly. And this is the dog rose that comes in two pieces. I picked one of the journal words, the word notes, and I have a brand new set, Live, Laugh, Love, and then I have Don't Forget to Fly, and then I think this is... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Always Dream Big. I think that's the name of this set. I'm not, I always forget the name of it. And that's a set of four. So I thought these would be perfect. And to help keep them from falling off accidentally, I just grabbed a six by nine Ziploc bag that I happen to have in my stash. So this will kind of pop down in there. So I don't have to worry about these falling out and then I lose them somewhere. I have a couple of acrylic blocks. I kind of played around with different sizes and I really like this little one for when I do words and I got this bigger one for the flowers and then this could go in between. I have a small blue, a small bottle of a tacky glue. I got this at the dollar store. I am thinking that just before I leave, I'm going to take this cap off of my one that I use on my desk. I didn't want to take the big bottle because it just took up so much room. I have my Distress Ink Walnut Stain and my blending tool. I decided just to use the big pad because it's easier for me to work with. I grabbed an archival ink pad. This is a smaller one. Normally y'all see me use the great big pad. I have a few of my blending brushes. So I've got the ones labeled purple and blue, green, and pink. And then in my little Ziploc bag here, I have some ink. So I picked a green, a blue, a teal, and a purple, and a pink. I'll put those back in here for now. And then I played around with some book pages and I used some acrylic paint. So I just grabbed some craft paint and I used, in fact, that gift card that I showed you a minute ago and just scraped the pages so that it has a little bit of paint on it. And I played around with my rubber stamps real fast just to see if this was going to work. 
and then I made this one. I colored it using my ink pad. So I took my ink pad and smooshed it onto my acrylic block, and then I grabbed my watercolor brush and dipped in that and painted. So I was like, okay, I like this. I think I can work with that. I grabbed some paper clips in case I wanted to make some altered paper clips or to paper clip things into my bigger journal. Here I pre-stamped a few things and plan to fussy cut them on the trip. So I've got some butterflies. These are some of the labels from the Find Your Wing Cube Quartet. This is my small, tiny postcard, my tiny library card. And I went ahead and stamped one of the butterflies on some ivory cardstock. In fact, I may just put all of that in here. My husband makes fun of me because I am a person that likes to put things in containers. I brought some glue dots. These were given to me at a convention. And I thought, well, just in case, I'll have some. I've got a scrap piece of paper that I can lay out wherever I'm working. And when I want to use the blending brushes with my stencils, I can keep from making a mess on whatever desk I'm working on. And this is a new set of stencils that I'm now offering in my shop. I'll have different sets, like this will be uh, Flower Quartet 1, because it kind of reminded me of flowers, and they are four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And the images are smaller virgin, versions, virgins? versions of my current stencils in my shop, so I'm trying to use those. I grabbed some elements. These were some prints that I had on my desk that I haven't done anything with. They're from Calico Collage, and I thought, well, they're on text weight paper. I could fussy cut them and layer them out. I grabbed a couple of envelopes. These are some of those small, like, enclosure envelopes. And then I found in my stash some leftover pieces from the Thankful kit, 30 Days of Thankful that Norella had. And here's some more elements that I had printed on text weight paper. And then I had a stack of some cardstock. I think these are like five by six yeah five by six in size and that just all happens just by happenstance to fit right in here over here my mother-in-law gave me this coloring book a long time ago it's card stocked weight and i just like the compactness of it so i thought i would take that this was a heart that was laying on my desk that's kind of out of really thick board. Who knows? I may use this to trace or cut things out. And I grabbed a small ruler because most of what I'm working with, I figured I could make do with a small ruler. So there is basically my little kit that I'm going to take on my cruise. And I plan to photo come back after I go on my vacation and then kind of give y'all some information about how my trip went. What did I think about using all the supplies? All right, everybody, if you liked this little tidbit, thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You know I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And let's see, on the first Thursday of the month at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. I'm going on vacation. Bye.